have faced a challenging first half of 2021 as COVID-19 continues to impact our people and our business. And we extend our deepest sympathies to those who lost family, friends and colleagues due to the virus. With our COVID-19 protocols firmly embedded at the workplace, and with extensive physical and mental health support available to our teams and their families, we continue to do everything possible to help keep our people healthy and safe. We are also working very closely with the South African and Zimbabwean governments to support the vaccine rollout program. And we are encouraged by the improvements we have seen in vaccine availability and take up. As part of Anglo-American, our vaccine support programs includes funding support to purchase vaccines through the Solidarity Fund, logistical support, training of community health workers, and the establishment of vaccine centres at most of our operations. In partnership with De Beers, we have also offered our support to the Limpopo Department of Health to assist with community outreach vaccination sites and cold chain equipment. I want to encourage everyone who is eligible to receive the vaccine to register and get their jab as soon as possible. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out to a medical professional for more information. By getting vaccinated, we can all do our part to help save lives and restore and protect people's livelihoods. As part of our We Care program, we continue to support our communities through food supplies to vulnerable households, water supply to villages, support to schools, clinics and hospitals, and investments in centres that support victims of gender-based violence. In light of the devastating impact of the virus and the recent unrest in parts of South Africa, we are adding an additional 400 million rand in funding to our We Care program so that we can continue doing what is right for our employees, our communities and for South Africa. Looking at our operations, we continue our work to eliminate fatalities and provide a safe working environment. Although we had no work-related fatalities in the year to date, we are disappointed with the increase in injuries reported in the first six months. This increase is unacceptable and we will not rest until every employee and contractor returns home unharmed every day. Despite the ongoing implications of COVID-19, we have seen a strong recovery in our mining and refined production in the first half of the year, compared to the first half of 2020. Total PGM production increased by 28% as there was a much lower impact from COVID-19 related lockdowns this half and we saw a strong performance from Mojalaquena. Refined production also improved significantly with the rebuilt Phase I unit at the Anglo Converter plant performing ahead of plan. As a result, we are making good progress in drawing down on our work in progress inventory and we are confident that levels will return to normal by the end of 2022, as previously guided. We're also making good progress with rebuilding the Phase B unit and work is on track to complete in the third quarter. Sales volumes were also strong in the first half of the year, driven by the increase in refined production and a drawdown of minor metals from inventory, following robust demand for these metals. High prices for our metals underpinned our financial performance. The US dollar PGM basket price increased by 47%, reflecting the robust fundamentals for our metals. In RAND terms, prices were up 29%, reflecting the stronger RAND over the period. We delivered a record EBITDA of 63.3 billion RAND, an increase of 385% from the first half of 2020. In addition, we improved our return on capital employed to 207% and our net cash position at the end of June had increased to 57.6 billion rand. As a result of our strong financials, we have contributed significant value to a range of stakeholders. This includes 16.6 billion rand paid in taxes and royalties to government, 5.5 billion rand in salaries and wages, 
300 million rand in social investment and COVID-19 support to communities and 2.2 billion rand in procurement from local and doorstep communities. In line with our strict capital allocation framework and considering the robust PGM pricing environment, strong free cash flow from operations, the strength of our balance sheet and the sustaining and project capital expenditure required, the board believes the company is in a strong financial position. As a result, the board has declared both a base dividend based on 40% of headline earnings and a special dividend. In total, the interim dividend of 175 Rand per share equates to 100% payout ratio of headline earnings. Looking ahead, our PGM metal in concentrate production is expected to be between 4.2 and 4.4 million ounces in 2021, while refined production is expected to reach 4.8 and 5 million ounces as we draw down and refine the build-up in work-in-progress inventory. Unit cost is budgeted at between 12,000 and 12,500 Rand per PGM ounce, and our stay in business capital expenditure will be between 7 and 7.5 billion Rand. While COVID-19 infections and stricter lockdowns have impacted some of our project timelines, we remain on track to present our Mughalakwena expansion plans. I'm also particularly excited about the progress we're making with the hydrogen field truck, which will be trialled at Mughalakwena later this year. The development of the world's first mine haul truck to run on hydrogen speaks not only to our market development efforts to stimulate demand for our platinum group metals, but will also play a significant role in cutting our carbon emissions by moving from diesel to green hydrogen over time. We believe the truck can also be a catalyst for a broader hydrogen valley developing in South Africa. And we look forward to sharing an update on the feasibility study we are doing with our partners in this regard in the next few months. These projects are just a few examples of the work we are doing to optimally mine the ore bodies that have been entrusted to us, limit our environmental impact and leverage our economic impact beyond our mining activities to the benefit of all stakeholders. Through our investments in our people, communities and new mining technologies, we will continue to reimagine mining to improve people's lives. In closing, I want to thank every Platinum colleague for your contribution to our results in the first six months. Despite the challenging environment, you have continued to show resilience, commitment and dedication. Without you, we could not achieve the operational improvements we have seen this year. And I know we have your support as we work with renewed focus and energy to reach our safety targets. Mm -hmm.